Let's go, and we're live. How's everybody doing? Friday night hangout. I'm super excited to be back joining you guys. We're here on a Friday night, the Friday after Thanksgiving. I'm joined by the 2021 WSOP Player of the Year, but more importantly, my man, my friend, Joshua Arie. Mr. Arie, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How was uh Yeah, still full? Yeah, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah, we had an awesome time. We had so much fun. I think uh, I think I ate three days in a row. We had some friends visit from Boston down to Florida, and uh, we had a great time. The family, everybody, and now Are the your girls. Do they help? Do, do the girls help Amber cook now? Uh, you know, we talked about that last night. I did all the cooking. I like. I okay. love to. Do they cook, help you so. cook? A little bit they do here and there, but like uh, I can't wait till they get to the age where like, you know, I can be like, I'll do the turkey, everybody take yeah. a side and and do that. But they helped eat it and that was fun. So yeah, I'm excited fun. tonight to uh, to get into a little poker. We got here we're gonna watch some of my uh, my WSOP main event final table. Yeah, well, I'm more excited to get uh, a little revenge on you because <laughs> I think if I remember correctly, last time we played, I think you beat me out of a Nobu dinner. Yeah. So that's good. Usually you have selective memory when you lose, and it's not yeah, often. Yeah. But I could tell no, you I in your it. face you're still pouting about it. Yeah. Uh, it every anybody else that's in Vegas that weekend, you're all invited on Josh's <laughs> tab. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to the the rotating sushi for ten dollars a piece. I'll take up to a hundred people. Yeah, if you guys are just joining us tonight, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'll tell you how it's going to go. We're going to watch a little bit of my WSOP main event from last year where my man, Mr. Ma Mr. Aria, is probably going to critique a few things that I did. And then we're going to get into playing some poker. We're going to play on the Poker Go Hold'em app. We're going to have a sit and go. Everybody's going to have an opportunity to get in the game with us. And uh, if you end up being the winner, which is the unseat, the, the defending champion, I'm going to send you a signed Boston Rob Boston hat. And uh, and who knows, maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it more than once tonight. So if you don't get in the first one, stick around. What uh, what do you got? I, I talked to you earlier this week, and you said you wanted to flip the script on me a little bit, and you wanted to, to take over and drive a little. Yeah, I mean, I just want – I think that, like, everybody wants – there's so many questions that, like – I mean, even me and you being friends for 20 years, there's questions that – that I don't get to ask. And, and there's a lot of people, whenever I meet somebody, it's always, Oh, uh, so what's Rob like? And, and how did he get into poker? And I mean, like, how did you get into poker? When, what's like your, your oldest poker memory? Yeah. My first memory, it was probably around a Thanksgiving dinner. And, uh, I was probably seven or eight years old. I remember being in my grandfather's basement and him teaching me how to play five card stud. And we played with pennies that he had at his bar. And he taught me how to play five card stud. That was the first time I ever played poker. Uh, That's cool. That's that. I, there's so many stories about people yeah. learning from their grandparents and stuff. But like you're you're a lot like me and it's just ultra competitive. Like no matter what we do, we're at each other's throats. And and just for me, it's I hate the way losing feels like yeah. it's more to not lose rather than to win. It's hard to explain to put it into words, but for you, like, did you gamble at a lot of stuff growing up? I mean, were you, I, I, tell me about like, yeah. cause, cause you're more of like, you're a gambler at heart and, and, and a competitor at heart and poker is just one of those avenues. I so think I know what you're getting things? at. Yeah. I think like a lot of it was like, if I can explain it to you, like, it's like, even when I won, I just wanted the game to continue. So even yeah. if I won, I would give the money back and be like, let's keep playing only yeah. so I could beat them again. Like, right. I love that. And for sure. And it's the sense of like unfulfillment, like, Sometimes you win too easy and it's just like there was no adversity and you didn't get stressed. And and it's like you, it's almost like you're we're chasing the stress right. of of the journey. But like what did you like when what what's like your earliest casino memory? Yeah. Did you did you go to the casino underage? 
Even, yeah, I did. But even before the casino, I remember, I remember pitching quarters to the wall, right? And <laughs> there was a game and like, just throw your quarter to the wall and whoever got closest got to keep both of them. And I stayed out till dark and I had a huge jug of quarters. I had all my buddy's money and like uh, his dad came over and he was mad. He lost all his money. I gave the money back. His father was like, no, keep it. My father's like, you give it back. And, uh, and, and that's like, like just always, like I would bet on playing tennis. I would bet on, like, I don't know. I loved it. I remember playing cards. I remember we played all the fun casino, like not the casino games that poker is now, but like follow the queen control baseball. Did y'all ever play? Did y'all ever play between the sheets where it's, there's a million different names for yeah. it where you put two cards and there's a pot yep. and you bet whether it's between the posts or listen in college, we called it AC Ducey, And yeah. I swear to God, I played <laughs> that game every day for hours and it was so bad that I didn't. I never did laundry in college. I used to win the money from from AC Ducey and get the laundry service to to do my laundry. And the guys from the game, the game would run twenty four seven on. Like we ran the game. Like that's how ridiculous it was. Like from our dorm room, the top floor. That's awesome. And uh, and at one time, I remember I beat, it was cold. We didn't have, the heat was broken or something. And I beat the guy out of a big pot. And I went down to the bookstore and I bought a brand new hoodie sweatshirt. And I came back up in the game. It's like the equivalent of going south, right? Like right in their face. <laughs> and I'm wearing the new sweatshirt as we continued the game. Uh, we there was a... There was, so there was, when I was about 19 years old, I worked at N MBNA America selling credit cards over the phone Yeah, and I got a paycheck. And for some reason I know exactly it was $178 paycheck. And I got off work, went to the pool hall and the guys from the pool hall were playing AC Ducey. And there was a big pot and there was a king and a four. And I had a lot of gamble. <laughs> and all I know is that I had to go down to my car, sign the back of my MBNA America paycheck, oh, and uh, put it in the pot. So the worst. Um, yeah, I, I've seen it. I've seen Ace Ace. So like the way we would play, if the first card out came in Ace, you had to call it high or low, right? right? So if you call low and then another Ace comes, I, we played so much. We used to play with eight decks. That it wasn't unfeasible, but I've seen ace low, ace high, pot it, and hit the post and have to pay double. God. You know, on like a three hundred dollar pot in college when you have no money and now you owe six hundred to the pot. I think we had a running tab of IOUs. Um, yeah. Well, let me change gears with a different question. Um, so you've been on Survivor seven. You've gone to the island seven times. Is that right? I've been on Survivor six times. I've played six five times. and I was a mentor once. Okay. So when you go and when you get voted off, you are quarantined, correct? You have to well, go. Well, you're to sequestered, yeah. Sequestered, not quarantined. Right. Um, so now there's just like so much time with nothing to do. Have you ever, was there ever any buddy that you gambled with there like i mean if, if me and you were there yeah and we were in a hotel with nothing to do one of us is leaving broke i mean it's just without a doubt it. without yeah. a doubt i remember specifically one time on heroes versus villains i was voted out and tyson was voted out right before me and our sequester was in australia and we didn't gamble with each other but we went to the casino that was in sydney and I remember our handler, like the guy that watched us one day, he went out and we were all drinking. We went to the casino and he let us play. And I specifically remember playing in a one, three game, right? Like a small stakes poker game, but we were drinking a lot. So like, it was kind of fuzzy. And at one point there was a pot that came up where I tabled my hand. I thought I lost. And then, and then they pushed the pot to the other guy. And somebody else said, you won that hand. 
And I was like, no. And then he's like, yeah, you won. You had a straight. You made a back door straight. And I was like, I made them go to the camera to look because I did table my hand. And they pushed the Rob, pot to me. And I how took much it. was in the pot, Rob? So maybe, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe oh, 60 bucks, you know. <laughs> That's wrong. Listen, if that you guys are just me. joining us, we are gonna uh play some play some poker tonight on the poker go hold them app. So stay tuned. That's coming up here in just a little bit. I'm hanging out with my man Josh, and uh, we're talking poker. We're going to get into the WSOP main event that I played this year. Why don't we start running that in the background? Yeah. I'm sure you'll have some questions, but we can continue with uh, with everything else. Yeah, just hearing you play that, talking about that pot in Sydney just reminds me of that time you came to Atlanta and we were playing in the home game and it was a pretty big, it was like, uh, I mean, the pots were pretty big and you yeah. got into a pot. And remember the guy like I remember uh, the hand. Let me see. Let me see if I can tell you. Right, it was a PLO hand, wasn't it? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I had he pushed with pushed on me. He he either had bottom two pair or bottom no, set. No, no, no. No, it was it was like the board was like nine six six something something, and you had nines full, and he had six nine. Ah, that's so right. He had the second best full house. And he pushed his chips forward. You turned your hand up, and then he tried to claim that he didn't call, that he was folding. I do remember uh, that. that was, yeah, yeah. I remember I, you I barred, stuck up for I, me. I've barred from Atlanta poker since then. So because yeah. I, I made a big stink out of it because you got cheated, or he was trying to cheat you. Right. And uh, so, and I was yeah. so green that I was just gonna like I'm the new guy. I'm gonna let it happen. And yeah. that happens no, a I lot. I wasn't gonna let it happen. Man, here we are at the uh, WSOP main event. This was this last July. What a fun tournament this one is. I know you. we watched you the uh, a few weeks ago go deep in it. And uh, I've played the main event. This was the third time I've played the main event. Uh, the second time that I've made dinner break on day three and not cashed any of the times. Oh, wow. So I'm 0 for 3 in the main. Uh, but this was fun because I got to play at the feature table this day, which I haven't done in the past. You've had, you got a lot of experience with that, right? I mean, do uh, you no. still get nervous or not at all anymore? I it's different. It's it's I I don't anxious and I get adrenaline. Um, being being nervous is good. It shows that you care, but it's uh it's how you handle it and how you deal with it that matters. Um, I've always felt that I do things much better under pressure. And uh, so I don't mind it. I love getting the, the blood going. And uh, it's, 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 you know, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, I like that too. I know like just from, from studying in school, when I went to college, I, I had a degree in psychology, but I also studied human physiology so I know about like norepinephrine and the fight and flight mechanism. And like, I've always like chosen fight, like in those situations, yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is, but like when the pressure's on, I love it. I always want the ball. I want to play. And I know, I know you're the same like you. Yeah. I you definitely want the ball when, when, when the pressures, you know, when, when there's a lot on the line, I definitely, uh, want to be in control and control my own destiny. Yeah, I like that. I like that feeling too of knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, my fate is not in someone else's hand, you know? So here we are at the, uh, the main event, the uh, feature table. And this was cool for me because, uh, so we didn't start out at the feature table this day. We actually started out in the field. The table was the same table, but we weren't on television. And on my on my right is JC Tran, and on my left is John Joanda, two notorious poker heroes of mine from the old days. Uh, I watched them all the time on the WPT, WSOP, and ironically, I had never met either of them up until this point. And for the first, I would say, hour and a half, like I had my cover intact. And then somebody came up and recognized me from Survivor. And then all of a sudden, John, you know, was like, oh, my God, I know who you are. And JC's like, I know <laughs> you, too. 
but I got to say two of the, That's two of the cool. nicest guys, like, you know, like true professionals still like old school professional players. And what a pleasure to play with both of them. Yeah. I've known John Juanda since 1999. Um, he's, uh, amazing player he he was one of the guys from the very beginning that really took reading body language and reading situations to another level and uh jc tran you know jc tran was one of the first people that back in the day when everybody was 3xing and 3.5xing jc tran was raising 2.2x and, and 2x the beginning of small ball I hear you yeah, fine. I, I, Maybe try to unplug and plug back in. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, I mean the uh, the game has definitely evolved and changed over the years for sure. I think uh, one of the one of the biggest things, like with my Survivor game, is it kind of happened in parallel with poker. So a lot of that stuff like tells and body language and all of that stuff. Yeah, I have a degree in psychology and I studied some of that in school, but I also studied a lot of that by reading poker books, those old books, you know, like uh, the Barry Greenstein books, the Doyle books, Daniel's books. And I learned about, you know, paying attention so much at the table and applied some of that in my game on Survivor too. Yeah, that's that's it's what you've done on Survivor is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Actually the biggest one of the biggest lessons that I apply on Survivor all the time, I learned from poker specifically and it's something that Daniel taught me a long time ago and it's just that everybody at the table, every hand somebody's trying to tell a story, right? And you have to decide whether that story makes sense or not. And on yeah. the island, it's the same thing. Everybody's trying to be a certain person, act a certain way, and you decide whether or not it actually makes sense. So I think the parallels are strong between the two games. You know, it's, I, I, I think that Survivor is much harder because, in, you know, in poker, you can have good cards and just win without reading people where in survivor like everybody's dealt the same hand and um it's just what what you make of it and how you use your personal skills and that's uh what makes survivor such a harder game okay, yeah. okay. i need to jump off and jump back in because this echo is really killing me okay go for it dude i'll sit here yeah, and uh, you, drink you, some you, beer you. and take some questions from the audience so if you yeah, guys are in chat you know uh i'll be back in three minutes okay go for it yeah if you guys are in the chat jump in the comment section i'll scroll through and uh if you got anything you want to ask me about poker about survivor Life. I hope everybody had a uh, great Thanksgiving. This was a um, a super fun experience for me. Always playing the main event is, you know, the the absolute the absolute pinnacle of the poker year. So fun to do it, and uh, hope I get to continue to do it one of these days. Make a better run. Get get in the money at least. Uh, is it? TT Tau Sig 33. Who's going to win this season of Survivor? Man, we're getting down to it, right? I don't know exactly who's going to win, but uh, I definitely have some favorites. I got some front runners. Um, I definitely I like Cody. I think he's fun. You know, he's a fun player. Uh, he's from Alabama. I think he says he's from Hawaii, but he uh, seems to have like a good vibe. Uh, also Carla, I think is playing a great game up until this point. She's, um, she's really kind of figured out a way to navigate the, the game socially from, uh, from a strong position and, um, Cody's partner. I like a lot, man. I forget his first name right now. The guy that was, has been to prison, uh, 
I think he like he really exudes confidence. It looks like he's pulling all the strings. And if he can get to the end and bring with him some of the people that really don't have much of a shot, and I don't want to name them specifically, but at this point of the season, you know there's a few people they got no shot at winning. They're there just because people are dragging them along. Uh, yeah, Jesse. Do I think he's going to peak too early? That's his name. I don't know. I hope not. I think if he makes it to the end, you know, I think he has a good shot. I think between the three of them, I think uh, one of them will ultimately end up end up as a winner. But I've been wrong. How did I meet Joe Stapleton? <laughs> Joe's a great guy. Uh, a lot of fun. Funny guy. He, uh, I met him through through poker, obviously through tournaments. You know, I think originally. The first time I met Joe was at one of Jason Somerville's events, the um, Run It Up Reno events. And I think he came out there. And then subsequently, we've spent time at Run Good events over the years and uh, at all kinds of other, like in Vegas, the WSOP. He's a ton of fun to be around. Really nice guy. Yeah. I think I'm going to see him, actually. Uh, this week, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Sunday, I'm heading out to Sacramento. I'm going to play the Run Good Poker event out there. It's uh, about a 10-day series I think we're going to be out there for. I think it started actually today. Uh, but I'll be out there for the, the kickoff bounty event on Monday and through the main event. So I'm hoping to, uh, to take down some Sacramento poker trophies while I'm out there. Cheers, everybody. If you guys are just joining, we are watching my WSOP main event run from this past season, and we're about to play some poker here on the Poker Girl Hold'em app, which is starting up here in just a few minutes. Josh, can you, you back? Can you, you back? Me? Yeah, look at that. One WSOP cash, one survivor win. I think that's uh, I think that's what we call batting a thousand. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less than a thousand. I remember How many main events you played? Cash. I played, played three main events, <clears throat> and I remember my one cash. It was in a fifteen hundred dollar buy in hold them event at the Rio. I think it started with about twenty five hundred people. And we got inside of a hundred people left and I was completely card dead. I had nothing, nothing all day. And you know, the ranges of cards that you played back then were a lot different from today. And I got down to about maybe 10 big blinds. And I remember the hand I shoved with was ace deuce. And immediately I was shown ace king and I was I was so upset that I shoved on that hand. I would have rather shove with like six, seven, you know, yeah. than the ace deuce. Hindsight, you know. Uh, and I think I cashed, I don't remember how much, a couple thousand bucks, but it wasn't it wasn't worth it for two days and many, many hours. But a fun experience. In uh, in this main event that we're watching, what is the uh What's the highest you got your chips to? In the main event, you start with 60,000. Is that I right? I started with 60,000. I think uh, right here I'm peaking at 60,700. May have been the most chips I had the entire tournament. I don't know. I it's really tough. I never got above, uh, I never got above 80,000 chips in three days. Yeah. And it's tough because, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you something. This is wild. In the three days that I played the main, I had aces zero times. I had queens once, and I had kings once. Oh, wow. In three days of playing, you know, so. Yeah. I, I mean, you did a good job surviving. Yeah. I mean, this wow, was a this, grind this all table, day. It's, it's really uh, unfortunate for you because, I mean, you have three guys at your table that are – high roller players like you have jc tran john juanda and chris dimaccio dimacci dimaki i'm not sure but all three of them are guys that are high roller players and uh 
you know, that's to, when you, when you play the main event, you you think that you're going to get inexperienced people that are playing once a year. And yeah. now you have, you know, three very high level pros, which is really unfortunate. Well, in, in this situation, because the structure is so good in the main event, I just kind of like tried to play good hands in position. I didn't have a lot of them. So, I mean, yeah. there's a few spots where I get my chips in and, you know. And that's luckily, really good advice. That's really good advice for people playing the main event. And that's something that I should listen to as well. The main event is the one tournament a year that the hours, that the level, uh, the levels are two hours per level. So you really can be extremely patient and not push the action. I always find myself trying to play a lot of pots and getting myself into a lot of sticky situations that are just unnecessary. Right. And that might be why I've only go back to 2019 in 2004, I came in third and won 2.5 million. I didn't cash again into uh, in the main event until 2019. Wow. 15 years. I, I, I think I'm, I, I may have missed one main, but I don't think I did. I think I played every single one and, and I built up some big chip stacks in those tournaments. Um, but no, I always uh, tried to win the tournament on uh, the, one of the very, on the early days that you, you just don't win the main event on day right. one through four. You know, it's uh it's funny. It's, you say it's that. Definitely a war I, I see that. <clears throat> excuse me. I see that in Survivor a lot when a lot of poker players or so-called poker players go to play Survivor. It's almost like they overplay their hand way too early. Like so yeah. similar to a tournament, you can't win Survivor on day three or six or nine. You have to make it to the end to have a shot, you know? Right. And, and there's that's so not many to say people. that there, there aren't spots. There are definitely spots in that game where this is your shot you have to take the shot here and fire you know but it's yeah and like for usually me as a, never on the first couple days right as a big survivor fan I, i've seen all the episodes i mean i've seen all the seasons and it's so often that they don't get into the writing the winner story until episode six or five you know Till you're 15 days into the on the island, you haven't even really met the winner yet because they've they've done a good job staying below the radar, yep. not getting into any arguments, not not being the big alpha male, not winning challenges, but just you know flying below the radar, and that's and that's a, a really good strategy to go with when you're playing these poker tournaments that are marathons, like the yeah. main event. Like, uh, you know, there's some tournaments, the, 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 PP, the PPC, where, you know, the hours are, I mean, the, the levels are an hour and a half long. Um, there's just, uh, you know, different That's strategies. good advice. I agree. Yeah. Like, it, it definitely is. I think we're going to transition here, guys, and we're going to actually try to play a little poker now. Luke's asking, uh, how do you join the private table? We're going to get yeah, into it. Yeah, you need it. to coach me through it, too. So if we can just close down the stream or pause the stream and we'll uh, we'll watch the uh, – we'll pick that up again. The stream would be much more interesting if you played a few more hands, buddy. If I played a few more, well, I mean, yeah. like I said, you know, I didn't have a lot to play in this particular tournament. Uh, I'll have to make a final table at some point where we can actually critique my play. We haven't got there yet. So if you guys have the Poker Go Hold'em app, if you don't have it, you can download it. It's available in the App Store and Google Play, all the places you would find it. And uh, what we're going to do is, yeah, you can see it right here on the screen in front of us. In the top right-hand corner, the second one, the little icon that looks like, you look at the arrow, my man in the back is doing it, looks like a bunch of people on it. You're gonna press that, and then you're gonna you're gonna go to you're going to go to invites, and you're gonna press invites, and then join a private table, and then it's gonna ask you for a code. Josh, you got that so far? <laughs> no, I might have to. My uh, 
my app would not load so uh, I... this is this is josh's excuse to not try to play me again no, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm trying i'm i'm where's my camera i'm uh i'm stuck right here right now so okay. Let me see if I got in myself. So then you got to enter the code to join the table. And the code is Boston Rob. And it's all lowercase, one word. Uh, spectator. Oh, I got in. Okay, I'm in, I'm in in the one seat here. And then you have to press the buy-in in the bottom right. So... Let me walk you through it one more time. So press the press the little thing with the three people, and then invite, join a private table. Okay, it's working for me now. Okay, and then once you join the private table, it asks you to enter the code, and you're going to enter Boston Rob, all lowercase. And then it'll bring you to the table. And then in the lower right hand corner, you're going to press buy in. I think it's 10,000 chips to get in the sit and go. Okay. Crazy cart made it in. Uh, Amber Lynn, I see, made it in. Super knit. You better hurry up, Josh. Only two seats left. Golfer Josh, he's in there. Oh, man. Look at that avatar. I have my own personal avatar. Bro, you were holding <laughs> that for me, huh? That's a secret. And one more seat. We have one more seat. I'm looking. Okay, there it is. Donnie P. Donnie P is in. So the winner, the winner of this sit and go, I will stick around and they will get you in the chat uh, and we'll get your address after and we'll get you a signed hat uh, from me. Unless I win again, again, unless I win again, you never know. Do we have a bet? Are we, do we have a uh, last longer here sure. or uh, must win? Uh, we are, uh, must okay. win, must win for Raiders tickets. Listen, you already owe me the drinks at the Raiders game and dinner um, at Monobu. Okay. So what? Oh, oh, I got this one. Sorry, Donnie P. Donnie, I got a good hand. Here we go. Don't listen to the table talk. Good fold, Donnie. Um, what what are we betting? What what? It's a must win. What are we betting? Ah, uh, you tell me. You want you want the loser has to buy the other person's ticket. Yeah, the loser has to buy the other person's ticket to the Raiders game up to five hundred. Okay, that's fair. Did I win this hand? Oh no, crazy Carl is going nuts over there. Is it Carl or Cart? Man, I gotta get my prescription checked. Sorry, it's Carl. Carl. I see it now. Ooh, this is the one. Man, I used to love playing sit and goes back in the day. This was like my bread and butter. You know that? I used to love like the six person, eight person little tournaments, buy in for a hundred, and then they'd split it up like three ways. <laughs> I got a feeling I know who Super Knit is. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Does the name start with a T and end with an A? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Amber Lynn. Oh, look at that. Look at me at the win. At the win. Oh, wow. Um, you look good there. Was that when you tried out for the Snoop Dogg with that hat? That was, that was like 2005. Oh, really, Amber Lynn? Okay. I'll give it up. Man, when I win again today, they're going to start saying this is fixed. Kind of mm -hmm. like the Patriots game last night. Did you see how bad those refs were? Oh, come on. The Patriots stink. I mean, there was a 14-point discrepancy in that game last night that should have been the other way. 
Donnie and, P. Donnie, <clears throat> Donnie, I'm raising you, buddy. I got this one, Donnie. You keep saying that every time, huh? Super knit, just let it go. Good fold, Dan. That's your game. Every every hand, you're gonna say I got every it. Every hand, Donnie, just let it go. There we go. There we go. Rob, are you just watching? Are you are you even being dealt in? <laughs> Listen, if you saw the hand I folded the last hand, you would be you would be very, very upset. Get him, Amber. Bless you. Thank you, buddy. The software's pretty time. good. Once it once you get a little used to the software, it's pretty good. Donnie P. All right. Get him, Donnie. Fill up. Fill up. Mm. Fill up. Yeah, right. Donnie, don't fall for that shit. Yeah, take that, Rob. What did he do? Did he shove on me? I'm on delay here. Do I have time banks? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Look at young Rob. Man, I was 146 pounds when I got off that season. God. Yeah. Lose about a pound a day while you're out there. Well, I need to go out there for like two months. You do? Oh, yeah. That's the thing. No you, can't, you just can't stop. Like at home, you just don't have – like when you're out there and you don't have it, it's a little bit different, you know? But at home, you can always run to their refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, it's just like ever since – I just haven't played as much golf and – Instead of being out on the golf course for eight, nine hours a day, I'm just around the house, grabbing food, grabbing snacks, sit down breakfast. Yeah, how'd that feel, Rob? What are you talking about? I lost a minimum. I can oh, never. We need to get rid of you real fast. Supernet's playing his heart out. I have a feeling Supernet is this year's runner-up player of the year, Mr. Daniel Weinman. Mm. So I just thought I'd share that with you, and it's only <laughs> fair that you know that. What's uh what's your next poker? Uh when's you, when's your next poker? Yeah, I was telling everybody when you went to get your headphones fixed. I um uh, I'm going out to Sacramento to the run good stop here this week on uh Sunday. That's cool. I'll take this one. No, i will gamble with you. I got a flush draw. <laughs> well you missed. I missed. I missed. Just take it. I'm just gonna bet a little bit. Why? I have to bet a lot, actually. Yeah, you have to bet a lot because you don't have anything. <laughs> what happened? Oh, you, you called a with a house. nine. All you had was a nine. <laughs> you had a full house and you checked. I only, I only played the nine. No, I bet. Didn't I bet and you called? I didn't call. Stop. Oh, my God. It timed out on me? <laughs> no way. Good check, dude. That was a good check. That's not fair. You distracted me talking about... Uh, Talking about what I'm doing here. Oh, you would have paid twelve hundred. I would have paid more than twelve hundred. <laughs> oh man. I just need to be in it. Well, the the tournament it's in Jamal. Is that Jamal no, Casino? No, no, no. Hamul was a few weeks ago. This one here okay. is in Sacramento, Thunder Thunder Valley. Okay. And yeah. that's a twenty-five hundred million dollar guarantee. That's right. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, uh, I got a hit. I had a lot of fun when we went. Now. When we went to the Run Good Tour in Florida, that was a lot of fun. We, that was uh, fun. 
we have to do it uh, without the baseball card degening this time. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible. It is. I've I've struggled. I've I've struggled in my road to recovery here in the past week, but uh, I still haven't purchased any. Um, I have watched. I road to recovery. <laughs> It is. It's. I'm in recovery from 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 sports cards, and I've uh, I've been watching some breaks recently, and um, what a bad run out. I haven't. Been, I haven't. Get him, Dan. <laughs> oh come on! What the hell is going on? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to start mixing podcasts and stuff, but last night Tyson was asking me if I'd ever spent the night outside sleeping out on a black Friday for, for a sale. And I told him I never have, but there was one time where I showed up at target at two o'clock in the morning and stayed till open so that I could buy sports cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. There was, uh, I did that once, uh, not for sports cards, but it was back in the, back in the day, I, uh, stayed out all night in line for U2 tickets. Oh, okay. Um, in, it was, uh, in 1987. Nice. That, they're a great concert. They were one of my favorite concerts I ever went to was U2. Yeah. They, uh, U2 was, uh, they were great back in the day. Man, if I you guys are just joining us, we're playing uh, poker on the Poker Go Hold'em app, and uh, we might try to run. We might try to run two of these tonight and have some fun. So stay tuned. If you didn't get into this one, we have another one coming up here shortly. Man, I think what people like a lot of people, they probably want to know some things about you that that a lot of people don't. What's something about you that a lot of people don't know that they would be interested to know? Something about me that people don't know. Um, oh, I got one. I got one. So before you played poker, you were look at like, this. Look, you were. Uh, well, hold on what? a second. I'm all in. I'm all in. And oh. freaking. He's got my you, buddy Dan. What are you? Good job, him? Dan. Oh, three way. This is three way action. Yeah. Hey, Dan. You how's that feel? You? <laughs> <laughs> what the. Oh. Wow, just chop them up, guys. Chop them up. No problem. I like Fuck it. Fuck you, Dan. Amber Lynn. Hey, hey, hey. It's a family show. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. I take that back. I'll text him. Oh, hey. I, I got the congratulatory. Uh, you got sixth place. There you go. Did, that's, uh, is that worse or the same as last week? I can't remember. Real funny. So before you started playing poker, a lot of people probably don't know, but you were a bike bike courier in Atlanta. Yeah, um, it was my the last job that I had working for somebody. Other, I mean, recently I've taken a position at Pocket Fives where I'm mostly working for myself. But um, before my poker career, I was a courier in uh, Atlanta, and okay. my best friend growing up. He was the courier. I was in school. Um, I don't know what I was doing, what I was going to school for. It was my first quarter at DeKalb College. I mean, I don't think I'm old. I have nothing here. But it's get too him, much Dan. In, right? Get him, Dan. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. I got five high. But I feel like gambling. Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye-bye. You're lucky, buddy. Yeah, but... Um, but... Uh, my friend was going to to be a major league umpire and asked me if I wanted a job. And I was like, you know what? This school thing isn't for me. I'm not, you know, I hate school. And so I took a job at a law firm and I learned a lot. Like one of the main lessons that I learned is there was a couple partners uh, in the law firm. They were attorneys and um, they both treated me very polar opposite. Really? You know, one of them was just a really great person and and I felt equal when I was talking to him and another and another one of the partners was just a dick and and talked down on me, talked down to me 
in every one of our conversations. And I just remembered that I, you know, no matter what position I ever get to in life, I just try to treat everybody equal. And, and, and I'll just never, for, I'll never forget, uh, you know, my dealings with him and with, you know, with both of those guys. Yeah. It was, um, it was a, a good learning experience to my life, but yeah, that was in 99. That was, uh, or 98. That was the last time that I had a, a traditional job. Did anything like any, any crazy stories that you remember? Cause I mean, that's a pretty unique job, right? Like, um, not really. I, I look at this. I Amber really, Lynn is making, sorry to interrupt, but Amber Lynn is making a comeback here. She just, let's go Amber. Daniel, Daniel had the dominating lead and he, she's doubled through twice. Amber, you know that this is the runner up player of the year in 2022. So this is a real victory when it comes. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you. You were saying about no, just like one of the just the memories that I have. Um, you know, I just go back to all the hustle I had when I was younger. I really cheated the system and I didn't do anything crooked, but I, I just the way that, that law firms bill, they bill every client. Well, I would take stuff down to the courthouse for eight different clients and bill all eight of them. And so I was making like nine X for my trip down. Let's, oh, oh dang Amber. it. Amber, you had a lot of people rooting for you there. Come on, Amber, run it back. We're going to win this one, Amber. Oh, we don't see because we're all in. Yeah, oh, take that. High. There we go. Take that. Two more times. Two more times. This is the one. This is the one. Jack 10 against Jack Queen. We need a 10. Ah, uh, flush. Congratulations, Mr. Weinman. Mr. Weinman. <laughs> Mr. Weinman, you're the proud owner of a Boston Rob hat. Maybe yes! you, maybe you wanna maybe you wanna donate it to second place. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> or if you want it. I will absolutely still send it to you. <laughs> Do you get any? Amber Lynn, it's your point? hat. You earned the hat. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Uh, put the uh, put the WSOP. Actually, you want to run it back? Do you want to play it again one we more time? Let's run it right now. Okay, let's yeah, do Dan, it. You need the player of the year points. So, so to to get back in, if you guys want to play again, you can absolutely play again. Uh, click the three. The three people on the top right, invites. I don't know. It's not working for me. Maybe because I'm here as a spectator. Let me close it out and try to get back in. Are you able to get back in, Josh? Yeah, I'm in. Me and Sparky are about to play head up. Amber Lynn is coming for another victory. Okay. Join the three practice. seats left. Okay, done. In. I got to buy in. One seat. Did I make it? I'm in. You're in. The same bet. Run it back, right? Must win? Yeah, must win. Okay. We'll do a, uh, what do you want to do on this one? We'll do a signed cookbook on this one for the winner. If you guys are cool with that. If you want the hat, I'll give you a hat. Your choice. And if they throw in an extra dollar ninety-nine, they can get this. <laughs> oh, what kind of uh, what kind of bike did you have? No, it was I wasn't a bike courier, buddy. You I, I drove a Honda Civic. Man, I feel like I have envisioned you on like one of those T Rex, like with the helmet, going through the streets of Atlanta, like no, 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 bombing around. I had a Honda Civic. I rear-ended an armored truck in my Honda Civic. Oh, it you didn't did do anything? It didn't do anything to the armored. It was an armored van. It did nothing to the van, and it messed my car up. Did it? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, that's why they call them armored trucks, right? But I was doing good, man. Those were the days. Nothing to worry about. When are you going to play live again? I'm going to go to the win. Uh, the win has the the WPT championship coming up here in uh, yeah in like two weeks, and we have a bunch of players posted uh, posted shares of themselves on Pocket Five. So if anybody wants to sweat their favorite player, you know, check out Pocket Fives. There's, I think we have five or six different options to invest in right now. Do you know the and, dates? What the dates of that is? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think day one A is December 11th, maybe. Mm. So it's like December 11th, and then uh, then I'm going to play the contenders. Uh, yeah, at for the, the pro am. Yeah, yeah, you're going to come over and play the pro am. Yeah. That'll be fun. That's yeah. a fun tournament. Yeah, uh, I'm I, playing in the studio is really cool. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's a fun experience. Lots of good guys. It's invite only. Well, I mean, you can win. You can still win your way in at Thunder Valley here this upcoming uh, this upcoming week. So if you can make it out there and win the main event, you're in. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do, though, because I've been practicing. Yeah. I've been practicing. Man, I'm telling you, I got a feeling. I have, like, I've had this dream the other night where I took a picture and I had two run good rings. And then Chance posted that thing the other night about your best memory for uh, 2000 and. 22 and i just in my mind i was like when i when i win the next tournament like it's it hasn't happened yet it's not over yet i think i have to get a i have to try to get one of those run good rings they're really cool and the fact that you and tana both have one really pisses me off the fact that tana has one is like everybody in the community nobody can believe it and so i got <laughs> that up <laughs> You're just giving them away. It's like a commemorative. It's like you go to the Braves game and get a commemorative championship ring for 12 bucks. Hey, shout out to Tana's father, Papa Karn, who just passed Tana in uh, Hendon Mob earnings all time. I heard that was the uh, topic of conversation at Thanksgiving dinner the other day at the Karn house. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Really, really nice guy. Grinder. Plays all the events, and uh, yeah, shout out to Papa Karn. I'm excited. I haven't uh, I haven't played since uh, Cleveland since since I won that ring. Um, Please don't it, call me in the middle of the night telling me that there's a buffalo machine that needs to pop. <laughs> no, we will definitely. That'll happen. It won't be me oh, calling man. you for that, but you know, that'll be Tana and Haley will be calling you about the buffalo yeah. fiasco. It's like a money laundering scheme. I'm telling you, I was driving uh, down to, we were over at Rosemary Beach last week. And as, as we were there, I was in on that, on that multi-way yeah. buy-in for the, and then I got out. After we didn't hit the first one, I was out. I knew it was bad news. So you only lost $30? That's it, buddy. 32 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know you'd love that. I need to take a take some notes from your playbook. Oh. oh, and if you buy my collection, this can be yours. Do you know who that is? <laughs> Anthony Edwards? Yeah. Tana's drooling on his keyboard right now. That was that was, other, that was the other thing Tyson said was that like, and you stayed out all night for basketball cards, and you don't know anything about basketball. You can't name five players. Mm -mm. I was like, absolutely not. Lamelo, that was it. Michael uh, Karate says that Boston Rob, I love you on Survivor. You're the goat. Thank you, thank I you. I agree, buddy. He really is. How do you get the yeah, app? Download it in the app store. Yeah, download it. Just go to the app store. If you and, have uh, uh, if you have Google, it's uh, in the Google Play Store. If you have iPhone, it's in the the App Store. And it's free to download and free to play. Free yeah. to play. You can use the code Boston Rob. I don't know if it's still. I think you still get fifty thousand free chips, and then um, every week 
We're going to be playing on the app, sitting goes, hanging out. Friday night, Friday night, every other Friday night. Yeah, so. What, what, how, what was your first, uh, what, how old were you the first time you went to Vegas? I don't remember. Where, where did you stay? I mean, maybe, hold on, I'm all in. Maybe the first time I went, I stayed at the Palms. I feel like the Palms was a fun casino to be at. And I think that was one of the first times I went. No, that wasn't the first. Uh, I went a bunch of the first times I went was around 2004 ish, 2003, okay. 2004. Uh, but earlier you asked, did I ever go to the casino underage and stuff? I remember Foxwoods Casino opened, I think it was 1992. And I was born in 75. So how old does that make me? 85. 17, 10. 18. Yeah. And I remember maybe it was later. Maybe it opened in 98. I was either just 21 or right before I was 21. Foxwoods was the worst because it was so spread out. Foxwoods was the best because I didn't Fox play. I never played Hold'em. We played seven card. I played with old guys that played seven card stud that bet their hands when they had it and checked it when they didn't, you it's know, me and crazy Carl, crazy Carl fudge. Um, am I free rolling again? Are you already out? Are you sixth place again? I mean, I feel like that's going to be your new nickname, buddy. Sixth place. Aria screenshot that Tana. <laughs> oh everything's funny huh i mean it's all funny crazy carl and amber lynn are back again duncan i wonder if duncan's from boston michael wants to know how he joins the sit and go mike uh you got the app well, I mean, we're in the middle of it right now, but how you would do it is in the top right, there's a three people, and then you get invited to the private game, and then click on that and enter the code, which is Boston Rob. No, not Friday Night Poker. In the top right, in the top right, the third icon from the right is, it looks the like people three icon. people's heads, yeah. You can, you can join another one right now, but you're not going to be able to get into this one because this is a uh, freeze out. Crazy Carl, I'm going to remember you, buddy. What do you think? Uh, what are your plans uh, coming up for the holiday season? Uh, I'm just going to, we're going to spend about 10 days in Vegas. Then we are going to. Oh, so you're go going out for a while. Yeah, I'll be I'll be in Vegas for about ten days, and then we're gonna go spend about three or four days with Rachel's family in Minnesota, and uh, catch the Vikings game um, on on Christmas Eve. They got no and shot. Their 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 defense was so bad last night. They got no. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I'm gonna come back home on Christmas Day and hang out uh, my. My girls come back to me, I think, around noon or two o'clock on Christmas Day and uh, hang out with them and give them presents and eat good food and just chill. You know, I, I the, thing, the, the big mistake I think that people make around the holiday or whatever, the, the thing that I don't do on the holidays is get myself all stressed out with a million things to do. Um, I, I just... I'm not, I don't know. I just, uh, I like just laying low and, and, and enjoying the time off and enjoying the time with the family rather than running back and forth and filling my schedule with a million things that I have to do. So yeah, I just kick back and watch some football. Oh, I need to check the Florida, Florida state score. 
I think I'm going to stick it in here. Mm. Get no, him, Duncan. Fold. I'm going to fold. I'm going to ask you after if I should have shoved or not. And I'm going to guess you had queen 10. I had better. Why had would a, you I had ever a pair. I had a pair of twos. Oh, uh, I I think you still. I mean, you have four. You have four big blinds. I know, but like, yeah, it's there's just you have to you have to you have. As bad as it sucks, I th I don't study solvers, but I think that you with you know on the button there when it's folded to you, you have to go. It's always important, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this, take advice from the guy who's out in sixth. <laughs> no, <just> result oriented. <laughs> I, I definitely can't shove this hand now, even though I want to, because then you'll start screaming at me. You know, we need to have uh, next time we do this, we need to have Sean Debon and uh, <laughs> have him play with us, and we we could just sit here and listen to him. He loves hearing himself talk, and there go the ratings. He'll, 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 he'll make fun of us the whole time. Uh, Michael wants to know if I still talk to Natalie Tenerelli from Redemption. I do. I had dinner with her a few months ago, about three months ago. I was in Los Angeles. Uh, she just got engaged. She's getting married, I think, next year, she said, out in Vegas. No, no, out in, in Italy. Uh, so I'm excited to go, to go to that and see her. Oh, boy. Um, dead. All right. Well. It's down to, to, well, I guess Duncan's still in it. Say hi, kitty. Oh, so neither of us won either game. No. That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll have to work on our games. What's your cat's name? Sage. It's my Hold dog. on a minute. You have a cat and a dog? Mm-hmm. They don't kill each other. They try. <laughs> they try. They do not get along. The dog wants to play with the cat, and the cat does not want anything to do with the dog. So the cat lives with you all the time? No, the cat comes back and forth with the kids okay. or with Maddie. The dog's here all the time. Amber's allergic to cats. And I was like, no, you're not. And then, like, sure as anything, like, if the kids go over to one of their friends' house and they, their friend has a cat and they come home, she'll start sneezing, sneezing oh. and just really, like. <sighs> All right, who's it going to be? There it is, Crazy Carl. Congratulations. Oh, wow, not no, over yet. Sparky, I didn't see you there. Hanging out. Sorry. I prematurely announced the winner. Sparky, can you fold there? I guess you can. Crazy Carl. About two to one. Here we go. You don't usually see this anymore. You know, you don't usually see tournaments get to the levels where the blinds are so big, where they're forced. It almost feels like it happens before that now. Yeah? You know what's cool is I – that's what I like about the this app's sit-and-goes. I mean, they they take 10 minutes each. Yeah. You know, you get, you're get you in and you're out. and You you know, once in a while I want to play some poker, but, you know, when you sit down online to play poker, you have to commit for hours and you know something like this you just jump in get a few hands in and you know after 10 minutes it's, it's done. fun yeah and it's fun to yeah. you can you can play you can meet up with your friends you can organize it you know it's definitely fun that you can do it from different places too you know like you're in atlanta i'm down here in right. florida like all over the country all over the world and that's why like poker really is like a unifying game you know, and that's what I love about it. Sparky, congratulations. I didn't mean to count you out so quickly. Looks like you made the comeback. So uh, let them know in the chat and uh, we'll get you We'll get you hooked Sparky, up. Sparky, get the cookbook and we'll <laughs> sell it on eBay. 
<laughs> we'll we'll chop it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it, buddy. It was uh, there was a fun 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 uh, fun little sit and go hangout Friday night session. What else? Uh, what else do we gotta get into tonight, or should we just uh, wrap it Sarah up? Sarah yeah. asks. Sarah tells you how much she loves you, and then asks, "Would how, would I ever do Survivor?" I would love to do Survivor. Um, I don't know how well I would do now. Um, if I need, not that I'm like mega rich or anything, but if I needed the money, I think I could do better. Um, but there's a part of me that just like the competitor in me that I can do anything that Rob can do. So <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to go out there and just show Rob that like, he's not that cool. So one of these days we're going to throw, we're going to throw a better um, audition tape together and I'm going to try to get out there to the Island. I got to get in shape and uh, get ready to battle with some big buff, 29 25 year old you better, you better hurry up and get on it because i don't know how long it's gonna go you know we're over yeah. here in the 44th season Brooks is getting up there you know they might they might call it here pretty soon yeah so. but why don't they why don't we uh put a little campaign together for have you host the show uh maybe someday i mean that you, would be awesome. you, can't, you can't take the guy's crown he's the best no so. for sure he is the best and it's it's one of those things that's like, I'm sure it's his job until he's done, but uh, I can't think of anybody better than uh, better than you to, to, to. Did you guys see what he just did there? He just, he just, he just complimented me, but it's right hard. before it, he was saying how much better he is than me and everything. It's hard. It's watch hard. Out. I've learned yeah. a lot from this guy over the years. I'll tell you what, guys, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, definitely download the Poker Go, hold the map. We're going to run it back in two weeks, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch everybody. Josh, I'll see you out in Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, and to anybody else that's out there that wants to come and hang out over in Sacramento this week, I will be at Thunder Bay all week. It's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys for joining. And we'll catch you next time. All right, buddy.